And like I said, you have the, the knot here. Make that cross, reach through the hole, pull it up, take the free running in there, put it back on, and then cinch it down. So, I'm go through it again slow. All right, so, in your left hand, right? And grab it and twist it. So, kind of like you're reaching your hand like backwards on it, right? And you're like twisting it forward. And so you should have a little bite or like a little cross, right? And then, I say you reach through the hole and you grab that piece of rope and you're gonna pull it up. And then you take your, your left hand, that loose rope, you're gonna go from, from you away, and then you're just gonna hold it. And then you can let go, you can do whatever else you want. Grab that other end of that rope and just pull tight, and then it should slide right over. All right, so like I say, if you're picturing, you know, your far side, your near side, and then you take the rope, whoever is gonna do it, you're tying the wireman's knot. So what you do is you're pulling from the far side, you're gonna pull this rope, you're gonna go over your hand once, over your hand twice, so that you have these three. All right, and then now you're just gonna play freaking move the rope over another rope. So take number two, goes over number one. Number one goes over to number three. Number three goes back over. And then you pull up in the center and you end up with this knot. And then that's it. Two over to one. One over to three, three back over to one, I guess, on that way. And then you end up pulling it up. And then so then if I was to pull on both sides of this, like I said, it's it's not gonna go anywhere.